All right, today we're gonna to be comparing a Charge 4 to an Apple Watch in the sense of uh, the heart rate monitor. There's been some posts saying that the heart rate monitor is off on the Charge 4, so I wanna see for myself uh, how they compare and see how close they are to each other. So here I have my wife's Apple Watch and my Charge 4, and we're gonna go for a run a little bit over a mile, and we're gonna figure out and see if we can um, then see the results and see how they both compare. Okay, so this is ready to go. The Fitbit already set it up, so it's ready to go. And uh, let's see, let's hit here. And let's go to, let's see, run is right there. And we're gonna go for an outdoor run. And this one's ready to go here. So now let's hit there and let's hit that. And should be, Pretty close. All right, let's go. Alright, stop this one, and stop this one, stop, alright, so now we're going to go in and compare the results between these two devices, so let's go in. All right, so let's see the details uh, regarding the run, which actually is more of a jog because it takes me 13 minutes to run 1.22 miles. Uh, but here's the information from the Charge 4 here on the left and the Apple Watch on the right. Uh, here it says 1.22 miles is what we ran. We have 1.23 on the Apple Watch, 13 minutes and 20 seconds. Here it says 13. I think the Fitbit doesn't show you the seconds when you're looking at this view for some reason. So it's probably a little bit closer than that. Let's look at the heart information, because that's what we were interested in, right? So here we see that we have an average uh, beats per minute of 143 versus the Apple Watch, which gives us a number of 149. So it shows a higher value on the Apple Watch. And then if you look at the actual uh, maximum BPM, we have 155 here. And here we have a value of 159, which if we look at what the heart information in this er section is of um, health, uh, it does match with 159. So there's a difference of four there, uh, BPM between the two. All right, so it seems like it's a little bit higher on the Apple Watch. I did have them positioned a little bit different in my arm. I don't know if that, uh, in my wrist. So I don't know if that's one of the variables there. Uh, but there you can see what the information difference is between the two. Seems like it's fairly close, not exact. Um, but it's up to you whether you think that's a, a much of a difference or not. And then which one, which one is the one that's more accurate between the two? Based on data out there, it seems like the Apple Watch might be a little bit more accurate, uh, but that's the difference that we see. Okay, hope that's beneficial. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these videos and uh, have a good one. Thanks, bye-bye.